At this place in history, we're in East Poultney along with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Now, Steve, what brings us here this week? So, Mike, we're going to be talking about Horace Greeley. And I think many people have probably heard the name Horace Greeley, but he is one of the most historically important journalists, I think, I think in the history of this country. And he had his roots right here in Poultney, Vermont. So we're going to go talk to Ann Duncan, who's a member of the Horace Greeley Foundation, to tell us more about his life and time. Absolutely. Let's go. His parents got into some financial difficulties in, in New Hampshire, and they had to escape in the middle of the night. When he was 11, he realized, having been a voracious reader already, that he wanted to be an editor. And he went to Whitehall, New York, a nearby town across the canal, and uh, applied for a job, but they didn't take him. And he didn't give up. When he was 15, he walked 12 miles here to East Poultney and uh, what is now called the uh, Horace Greeley House was the site of the Northern Spectator, the weekly newspaper run by Amos Bliss. While he was here, right across the way over there at the Lyceum, he actually debated against lawyers and judges and doctors and clergy and all sorts of adults, and he was still a teenager. Then, when The Spectator closed five years later, he ended up going to New York City, where he founded the New York Tribune. Probably the best known newspaperman in the country. He became embroiled in politics. He wrote a lot about it. His, his opinions counted. And he ended up helping to create the new Republican Party. He really believed in, in getting rid of slavery. He actually published a letter, full page letter to Lincoln called in his- Called him out, yes. Called him out on it. It was very exciting to think that somebody like that with that much influence came, got his start right here. Now, kind of to wrap up his career, he ended up running for president. He did. At the very end of his, at the end of his life. He got sad and upset with the way the country was running. He decided to run himself against Ulysses S. Grant. And he did fail, but uh, the people still loved him. I believe Horace Greeley had the same basic ideas. Hence Greeley's uh, famous reply in one of his editorials to someone that had written to him, I believe at the Tribune, go west young man, work hard and carve out a life for yourself out of what might be nothing. Exactly. So if people want to learn more about Horace Greeley, uh, what are, where are some of the places they can go to learn? Well, they can look for the book he wrote about himself, Recollections of a Busy Life. They could read James Parton's The Life of Horace Greeley. I got one online myself. They're, they're probably in libraries. I write a column that's in the local newspaper, the Lakes uh, Region Free Press, about Horace every now and then. Go west, young man, at this place in history. Mike and Steve, thank you so much. Okay, draft night is here.